Photoshop templates can be confusing because sometimes they contain so many layers that it's just overwhelming to scroll through and a lot of times uh, people don't name their layers and so you have you know shape 54 and layer 27 and so forth and it just sort of becomes um you know hard to kind of sort through so um, keep that in mind if you go to the web to download template files as you're thinking about preparing graphics this is the original firefighter website template that I downloaded and um, here's the modified template that I included um, with the chapter and just to look at this um, some things that are common are uh, for instance a layer that shows a grid that's really common for uh, website templates uh, remember that the sort of main area of, of the page uh, at this moment in time might be about 960 pixels. Um, so if I look at the, the grid that the designer is using here, if you count up there are 12 columns, if you count each of these columns, and if you divide, and this is where I'm going to be, I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit, but if you divide 960 by 12, you'll see, and I already have the answer in there, um, you end up with 80 and so if you check this just to see just because it's kind of fun to to check um, there's my 80 pixels wide so each of these um, columns is going to be 80 pixels wide um, and the columns you know they're not each used individually but if you kind of look through the design you'll see how um, that grid is used as a way of organizing the layout on the page. For all practical purposes, um, we don't need to keep the grid on as we're trying to sort through this template. And what I would do if this were, you know, what, what I did do when I looked at this and then modified it to make something a little more manageable to work with, um, is I just go through and for one thing, I'll start at the top and I'll just collapse any layer groups and so there are lots of them, which is great because that does mean that, that the um, file is somewhat organized. And then I'll also, once my layer groups are collapsed, I'll start to turn eyeballs on and off, um, enabling and, and disabling the viewing of those layers. So um, it's hard to see by doing that. Oh, there it is. So there's that divider there. I'm going to leave that on just because uh, I want to have something to to showcase uh, a tool tip a little bit later on. So typically I would turn that off, but for this demo, I'll leave that on. Um, here's that social media block. Here, remember what I'm aiming for is kind of to get to something simple like this. So I'll, I'll leave the social block off. I will uh, leave off updates, the gallery section, the featured video. I'll leave the footer on. I might end up moving it later. The menu will remain visible contacts I can't even see that right now so I'm just gonna leave that off news I actually don't want the news because I want the main page to show the inner background sort of seems important right now and the background seems important now um, I would like to show what's happening on that main page and so fortunately the, these um, layer groups are um, labeled in a way that allows me to get a guess. So here's the home image and text and if I expand that layer group I can also find in here the image that was initially included as sort of the main page image. So this is basically how I ended up getting to this. Um, obviously I then cropped this so I could do that and I moved the footer up. Um, what I wanted to show as well, because sometimes going through and turning off eyeballs and expanding layer groups, um, you know, is, is a great way to start. But sometimes you can't find, you know, there's one thing you're looking for and you can't find where to, where to locate it to turn it off or to hide it or to delete it. So with your move tool, um, there's a feature uh, or an option on this tool, uh, which is auto select. And, you know, you can auto select group or layer. And I'm going to go with layer. Now this can be um, this can be something that really gets in your way if you forget that it's enabled or that it's active. So be careful with this. But if I turn auto select on right now and then I go click right on that line, my layer is automatically active and so and also kind of 
um, highlighted so it's easy for me to find that eyeball to turn it off. Um, now if I were using this just to do that I would then disable my auto select because um, as you can imagine leaving that on and then maybe you forget that it's on and you're you're not on this layer but you go and pick it up and move it and all of a sudden things are moving around that you don't intend to have moved around so I'm gonna leave that off for now um, and then uh, obviously I would uh, at this point if I were going to crop it and then move the footer up I would go here to my footer group I would pull that up to wherever I feel like that should be um, and I would use my crop tool I'm just gonna press C on the keypad to get to my crop tool I'll look put that at unconstrained and I don't remember off the top of my head what my what my final um, height was but um, I would choose my my width and height here um, I would leave and I think I did I left this at um, whatever the template had it at which is looking like 14 something 1440 1443 something like that um, and just crop it vertically like this so I'll press return on my keypad um, and this more or less is going to get me to um, the modified version of the template that I included. Um, I, can, I, I can see here that I, I probably actually want to crop it down on the top a little bit, and I'm, I'm sure that I did that when I got to the template um, that I included. Um, but this will get me pretty close. And then the other thing is, of course, you know, if this is all I'm going to work with, then I can start deleting layers, um, which you know, I think I did. I think I did delete some of them from from what was included with the um, with the chapter work file. Um, I also would very much encourage always saving the original download. So in this case, the original download was an archive, a zip archive, and I would just you know tuck that away somewhere so you can always go back um, as you are modifying templates for your own purposes.